What can you do with a drunken sailor? What can you do with a drunken sailor? What can you do with a drunken sailor? Roll eye in the morning. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that anymore. Only when I'm sailing on stream. Welcome to another grape guide. No, I didn't just write a song about sailing. But this is going to be a guide about sailing. So, you want to sail. Well, I got news for you, buckaroo. That's what this game's about. There's a lot of sailing in this game. You're going to need to learn how to do it. You know why? Because you're a Viking. And what do Vikings do? They sail. And murder and stuff. But, you know, sailing is a big thing too. And so, here you go. It's a little bit complicated. And some basic boat knowledge. Sailing stuff might come in handy. But don't worry. You don't need to know what side is starboard. Port. I'm just going to say left or right. And make some people cringe. Because I do not care. Or know the difference. All right. So the most important thing about sailing in this game is not to drown. After that, you want to make sure you understand the HUD. And that's what I'm going to go over, is how to understand all the stuff that's going on on your screen right now. And I'm going to try to do that quickly. What's going on here, I'm going to zoom in on the HUD. You'll see that there's the uh, little white lines, that's the wind, and that's the direction of the wind. You'll also notice the direction of the wind is marked on your map. It's that arrow. So it's telling you which direction the wind is blowing. You'll go faster by going in that direction. So the compass with the wind, is telling you which way the wind is blowing and which way is good for you to catch the wind. So that black section there, that is telling you that if I turn that direction, I'm gonna lose the wind. So if I turn here, you'll see that the wind icon will gray out. When that happens, you'll definitely wanna remove the sails. So you're facing directly at the wind or in that, if you have the wind caught in that corner, Sails are only going to be working against you. They're going to slow you down. They're going to impede your progress. You want to drop the sails. How do you drop the sails? W and S will control the speed of your boat up and down. So for that, you'll see that on your steering wheel, there's a little triangle. When I press up or, F or W, that is uh, speed one, I'm going to call it. But it, basically, I'm in paddling mode. And you'll see that there's a paddle showing right there. When I press down, there's no arrows anymore, so I'm not moving except for where the wind and the water take me. If you press down or S, now I'm paddling backwards, so you'll see a little arrow pops up. If I press it up twice, or W twice, you see that the sails go half-mast, and there's two arrows. And then three for full-mast, full-sail, set, whatever the words are. That's how you go fastest. It's just uh, speed, speed. The other major thing to know is that you're not steering this like a car. You know, the, the the steering wheel here, it's only affecting the way the rudder is moving. So it's not propelling me in a distance. It's just saying that whatever movement I'm going, it's going to start turning that way. It's a small distinction that really matters when you get to the bigger boats, because if you're thinking you'll just turn, you're not. You're going to kind of slowly rotate, and the back side of you will just hit rocks while you're saying, why am I getting stuck on all these rocks? So sailing is all about careful adjustments of the sail. Say you want to steer very precisely, you're going to want to be at half-mast. You get more precise control, and you actually do get affected by the wind. If you're... See that the wind is blowing from the right, right side quarter starboard it's now tilting my boat and it's technically it's pushing my boat you can't see it right now but it is actually moving it sideways even if the even if the sail is gone it's still going to be moving me to the left side of my screen and it's very important when this starts happening and you're trying to navigate a bunch of rocks and get yourself unstuck while you're getting attacked in a swamp with a blob and a ghost which is some real life actual scenarios that have happened to me where i've lost a boat and died So what do we do when the wind is not in our favor? We tack. We use a technique called tacking, which is I'm not a sailor. And I've never driven a boat before, but I know the term is tacking. Tacking is using the wind, but going at an angle, tacking back and forth. Is tacking the word? Maybe. Tacking back and forth. So to do that, you basically will turn so that you're just touching the wind. See how the wind is just right there? And then you can open the sails a little bit. 
that will send you off in that direction. Say I want to go... Say I want to go here, because that's where the wind is. Okay? I want to go there. But the wind is coming from that direction. So to do that, I'm still making forward progress towards it. But I'll have to cut back and forth like this. Get rid of the sails. I'm still getting forward momentum from my speed. Then I can open the sail again. Pick it up. And I'll have to basically zigzag my way in that direction. So the boats, the boats come in three flavors. There is the raft, which is a square piece of garbage from the movie Castaway. And it's useful to nobody. It's easily damaged. Doesn't go fast. Doesn't steer well. It's basically just when you're poor or you just died and you don't want to spend a lot of resources getting back to your boat, it's disposable. This boat, the Colve Carve, I'll put the text on the screen. This is uh, the, the very maneuverable boat. It's very easy to steer. You can go into shallow water. You can hold a decent amount. It's the best of both worlds. And then you have, this is Euro Truck Simulator Viking Edition. It's it's huge, but you'll catch some speed. It's this is you want to go somewhere. This is where you go. But getting stuck with this is is miserable. And if you get close to land, you'll notice this turning, like the turning of this. You're kicking out the back so much. So if you get stuck and the back is stuck, you're in trouble. And I've been in lots of situations. It's hard to push it off land. You'll always want to bring a hammer with you, even when you're swimming, even if you have to go back to your body and you're you're just flying naked, trying to go back and get your stuff. Bring a hammer, bring some wood. You can pull out the hammer and see the, the life of your boat. And then you can quickly, you can't repair it while it's driving around, but you can hit land real quick. You drop a workbench and you can quickly fix it. I'm already fixed. And then get back in and keep keep cruising. And also, it's very hard to stop. Like, I'm, I, might, I might be going too fast. Okay. I'm not going to crash into my boathouse. Oh, I still am going to crash into my boathouse. Anyway, that was, that was it. That's all I've got. That was uh, the first of many, many Valheim videos to come.